Last week I bought a pair of cheap wireless earbuds from Amazon and uh, to be honest I'm not really happy with these. Here they are. So this is uh, the typical wireless earbud that you find everywhere. So it comes with a charging box here. So the box itself contains a battery that you charge via USB-C. And this battery is exactly the issue I'm having with this because it's yet another battery that I have to maintain, uh, keep to tr track that it's uh, charged when I need it. And I'm just simply refusing to do that because I have already enough batteries in my life. Like my laptop, my smartphone, my tablet, my car, my motorcycle, my power drill and whatnot. And I'm really tired. These things are always empty when you need them. And after a couple of years, they're usually broken and batteries simply just annoy me. So what can we do to make this thing here better? And uh, so that we do not need to uh, take care of uh, having this charged all the time. Well, we can simply add a solar cell to it and let it charge simply by sitting around. And uh, this is perfect for my use case because I am not a heavy user of these here. I use them occasionally, a couple of hours per day maybe. And uh, a simple solar cell should be enough to keep them charged uh, all the time, simply by sitting around in the sun. So let's start to build this. This is the box taken apart. And uh, as expected, there's a LiPo battery in here with 700 milliamp hours, a PCB uh, with a charge controller for that uh, battery, and also connectors uh, to the earbuds here. And uh, I've already soldered some wires to the terminals of this battery. And the idea is as following. So we have the solar cell it generates up to one volt. This is of course not enough to charge this. So again, one of my trusty uh, step up converters, this will boost up the voltage from one volt to five volts. And this will then be connected directly to uh, the battery terminals of the LiPo cell. Um, it could also have been connected uh, to the USB-C port, but I opted against that because there will be more losses induced. Uh, so we're having here a very low power setup, uh, very low power source, and uh, charging over USB-C, for example, uh, enables the LED here in front, which will steal some of our uh, scarce milliamp hours. So the um, best option is to directly charge the battery. The issue I'm having right now is, how do you actually fit one of these DC to DC converter ports inside of this uh, housing? Um, it's really tight in here. Like there's just a tiny bit of space uh, above the battery, but it's not enough for the DC to DC converter. And also on the other sides, uh, like so definitely won't fit. Like so uh, it will also not fit, sticks out to the side and uh, won't fit below the PCB because uh, there are contacts there. So uh, no room really available for this kind of PCB. So then of course the smart way of approaching this would be to buy a smaller uh, DC to DC converter or um, build a custom PCB that uh, simply packs uh, the components tighter together. Yeah, like I said, that would be the smart way, but uh, hey, you're on my channel. So uh, I guess it's time for some soldering origami and uh, connect the components on here in a freestyle manner without any PCB, just to clump them really close together. And this way, I think it should be possible to fit the circuit in here inside of the space. Very elegant.
So we are from this down to this, which is quite a nice uh, shrink factor, I would say. It's definitely not the most uh, beautiful thing you've ever seen, but I think it should work and it should fit quite perfectly into this tiny spot here. So if we just put it in here, should be no problem fitting it in here. Okay, next step, let's test this, whether this actually still works. Fingers crossed. Okay, smoke test. So let's wire it up. Okay. Smoke or no smoke? Uh, no smoke yet. This is good. And do we have five volts at the output? Mm, nope. Oh, there we have it. Ground wasn't connected. <laughs> All right, so this ugly, ugly rat's nest is working. <laughs> Time to install it inside of the enclosure. Here we can see the setup uh, charging the battery at 7 milliamps, uh, simply coming from this uh, lamp here, the light. And uh, this is also roughly equivalent uh, to a sunny day. So I tested the setup before uh, on a sunny day in the sun, and this also gave uh, around about 7 milliamps, which is quite decent. Okay, so now it's finished. Um, you can see here parts of the DC to DC converter. Um, I also added a diode in front of the battery simply to avoid uh, the battery being drained when there's no sun. So current can only flow into the battery, but not out of the battery, which is nice to have, of course. And uh, in case you want to uh, rebuild the DC to DC converter here, I can show you the schematic like so. Uh, but probably it's easier if you simply trace uh, the PCB here and do the same basically as I did. Uh, look how it's connected on the PCB and then clump everything together and solder it as a big uh, rat's nest. Um, yeah, but all in all, that is a really nice thing to have. And of course, the main question uh, still open is how much do you benefit from this? So, like I said, uh, this charges uh, in summer days at, with 7 milliamps, the battery. But how much is that actually in terms of uh, listening time in, uh, for the headphones? And there's a, well, easy way to kind of get a rough idea on this. So, like I said, uh, 7 milliamps is what we are getting from the solar cell. And um, inside of these earbuds, there are two 55 milliamp hour batteries. So two times 55 milliamp hours equals 110 milliamp hours. Um, so this is the charge that's inside of the headphones. And according to the manual, this lasts for seven hours. And if we do the mass on this, so we can see that it's roughly 15 milliamps. Well, let me write that again. 15 milliamps that these headphones consume while being in use. And so we are charging at approximately half uh, of that which means one hour of sun sitting in the sun will give you 30 minutes of uh, usage, which is uh, quite fair, I, I think. And uh, yeah, if you're not a heavy user of these headphones, not uh, listening, I don't know, five hours per day, each day, uh, this will probably be enough to keep them charged all the times. Of course, there are some losses here and there, so it's just a rough estimate, but, uh, yeah, still, I think this should be usable. And um, I will report back when I have some uh, experience gathered with this. So as you can see, it's it's simply 
just uh, fresh out of the uh, workshop so i don't know yet how long the battery will last and uh, how much i need to to charge it so time will tell but so far i'm really happy and actually looks quite slick i think all right then thanks for watching and please uh, comment if you also rebuilt uh, this idea into your headphones i would be really glad to hear about that because that's always nice to see that people like the ideas and also uh, put some of their own thoughts into things and improve things so i really would like to hear about that all right then thanks for watching see you soon bye